guys, and welcome back to another video. If you've been following us on socials, you would have seen that we're preparing for the Players Classic show, which is this weekend. So we've got the guys from CMG here, and instead of driving our cars down like we normally would, we normally have a couple of cars, but this time we have eight cars that are actually gonna be at Players Show. We've got six on our own stand, one on Bill Stein's stand, and the other one on Wave Track stand. So the first car to be unloaded is our E39 M5. And I'm just gonna take this opportunity just to quickly talk through the cars as they're going on, because I don't think we've done an individual video on all the cars, so you guys might not know what they're about. So this is a car we built for a customer. A customer passed away, and then we bought it off him. The car has Evolve Supercharger, Evolve Headers, Evolve Full Exhaust, BBS LMs, Brembo Brakes, Bilstein Dampers, and Intrac Shocks. It's a really clean car, three owners from new 68,000 miles, and it's one of the best examples I've ever seen. And that's why when we had the opportunity to buy it, we did do. So the next car going on, I believe is the M2. So when that goes on, we'll have a quick look at that. So I was wrong, the next car to go on is not our F87 M2, but is in fact our G80 M3. This is quite a new car to us, so the only thing we've done so far is a set of MSS adjustable springs and our brand new 660 design forge wheels. We were hoping to have the Eventuri intake ready, but that's still in prototype phase and we don't want to show the prototype at the moment because we've used some neat tricks on that that we don't want anyone else to copy. But I'm really looking forward to seeing people's reactions on this. The design of the car as it is does cause a lot of controversy um, and I'm not sure what people are going to react to in terms of the wheels. I mean I love them but I think it's going to be a case of people really love them or they hate them. So next to go on is our F80 M3. This car is Verdi Mantis Green. You're very familiar with it if you follow the channel. It now has a full Evero body kit on there. Bill Stein suspension, 660 design wheels. It's got Mosselman hybrid turbo, even Chewy charge pipes, intake, CSF front rad, and the car is running around 700 horsepower. We're gonna probably be selling this car quite soon. We're almost done with it. I've got to do one more piece of content apart from player show then we'll be looking at getting rid of it because as well as a G80 M3 we do have a G82 M4 coming towards the end of this year. So now we're loading our F87 M2 onto the trailer. This is arguably my favorite car, but don't tell any of the other cars that. We built this in 2016, and the inspiration behind this car was to make our own version of the M2 GTS before BMW did, but they in fact didn't make a GTS, they made a CSL, or CS version, sorry. So the reason I love this car so much is that it's exactly how I envisioned it to be. It literally was a no budget build. I did everything that I would expect a GTS to have, but just added my own little touches to it. So this car has so many mods, it's really difficult for me to reel them off, but I'll try. So it has an Alpha N GTS style bonnet, Alpha N roof, Alpha N rear wing, RKP rear diffuser, RKP side skirts, and RKP GTS front lip. It has Bilstein B16 coilovers, 660 design forge wheels, BMW OE ceramic brakes. So we, I think we were the first M2 to have ceramic brakes on there has a full super sprint exhaust, CSF intercooler, even Churi intake and engine cover. Uh, what else does it have? Oh, it has a roll cage, Cobra Nagaro seats, which have been retrimmed, and it's running around 430 horsepower. It's my absolute favorite car to drive as well, not just to look at, it's just absolute hoot to drive on country lanes.
Next up is our GP3 and this is actually going to be on Bilstein stand. The car has Bilstein Club Sport 660 design wheels, even Chewy intake and we've just put a Super Sprint exhaust on there. Last but not least is the Eventuri Yaris GR. Uh, this car currently has the Eventuri intake on there, it has MSS adjustable springs and an MG exhaust. We do have a lot of plans for this car, but that will happen once the car comes back from players. That's it for now. The car's loaded up. Matt will get the cars coming off on the other side. And we are gonna look at all these cars in more detail along with the E92 M3 and our F90 M5, which we're gonna be driving over there. Getting to the end of the second day at Players Classic and the sun has finally decided to come out. It's been quite miserable all weekend. We were lucky it wasn't raining yesterday, but it was very grey. This morning was pretty wet and very grey, but it's actually nice to see the sun out and the car's colours actually popping. So our E39 has been attracting a lot of attention. Number one, because it looks like a really clean 
E39 M5 with some nice BBS LMs and you see the Brembo brakes but when they come over to the engine bay they can see the whole Evolve supercharger kit with the CNC plenum. Um, this car has a lot of meaning to us as a company and it's something we're going to make a more detailed video about when we get a chance. We were waiting for some good weather so hopefully as summer goes on we'll have a chance to do that but I love this car it's really really special. So M2 doesn't really need much of an introduction. You guys know a lot about this car. It is inspired by the M4 GTS. So BMW never made an M2 GTS. So this is our kind of homage to that. Hence the orange highlights, the GTS inspired front lip, the bonnet, the carbon roof, and the GTS inspired wing. So this car, has been with us for about five years now and it still attracts a lot of attention and people are very interested in the little details that we've done to it. Moving on to our Japan Red E92 M3. We actually haven't done much to this visually. Uh, we've done the BMW M Performance carbon splitters and the rear spoiler. It's got the full carbon even chewy plenum intake and airbox lid in a matte finish. And we've just recently fitted some Bill Stein EDC dampers to this, which we're testing out with some springs and we will do a full video on that we've done the installation i have to do the driving impressions but initially i've been very impressed with that the thing about this car that makes it so special is the color there's only 25 of these in the whole world and they're all in the uk and the contrast red stitching inside it so the fatm3 you guys have seen this on our vmax videos it's been on carwell a couple of times as well this car is coming to its end of its life with us it has a full Evera body kit which we designed, hybrid turbos, even true intake, charge pipes, CSF external rad, Bilstein dampers, MSS springs and a full evolved titanium exhaust. Again, the colour is very special, it's Verdi Mantis which is the same colour that you get on a Lamborghini Huracan and in fact our Lamborghini Huracan is that colour. And there's only 22 of these in the world I believe in right hand drive. So this car is running around 700 horsepower. Uh, we've had it since 2017. We're really happy with the way this car has actually turned out with the 660 design wheels and the Ivera kit visually. It's very different to anything else that's out on the market at the moment. And the last car on our stand is the G80 M3. We bought this to do even Chewy development. Uh, we're halfway through that process, so we can't show you any prototyping at the moment. But the car is finished in oxide grey and we've just done a set of 660 design wheels, 20 inch front and 21 inch rear. And they're finished in a really cool brushed gold finish on the inside. And we've wrapped them in Michelin PS4S tires. And this also has the first MSS height adjustable spring kit. Now this car has been getting a lot of attention, number one, because it's one of the only G80s here. A lot of people haven't actually even seen these in the per person. And it's already modified with the wheels and, it, and the stance. Uh, what I have been noticing is most people that have been walking past have mentioned the grills and they've, a lot of them have said it's not as bad as they thought it was in the pictures and in real life they're kind of quite growing to the idea of them. It does look very aggressive and like nothing else out there so it's pretty impressive. Uh, our F90 M5 is on the CSF stand and our Mini GP3 is a build stand so we may go over there in a second. And we also got the Eventuri Yaris and we've just finished the intake on this and that broke all the records on pre-sales. We haven't ever sold that many intakes on pre-order release. So really, really surprised with that. But it is one of those cars. A lot of people have bought them as toys and I think it's a very special car and not something that's going to be repeated if you look at how they developed it. Apart from that, this car has MG exhaust and also MSS height adjustable springs. We do have some more plans for this car as soon as Cyvex release their standalone ECU or the actual physical ECU is unlocked, but this car is a lot of fun.
So our GP3 is on Bilstein stand and this car has Bilstein B16 Club Sports on it and the difference between the normal B16s and the Club Sport is number one it has adjustable camber plates for the front and if you look at the damper here it has the bump and rebound set settings on two different adjusters whereas on the normal B16 it does it on one so this gives you much more control. And the reason we want to run the Club Sport on this car is with the top mounts that gives us the ability to change the camber settings on the front from road to track. The car is very aggressively set up for track use, which works absolutely fine. But when you want to use the car on the road, it does want to follow the cambers in the road a bit too much. And this just makes it more usable on the road. Alongside that, we've got the Eventuri intake, which you guys have probably seen before. Works really well on this car, sounds great. And we've also got a set of 660 design forge wheels, which were designed specifically for the GP. So when Mini made the Union Jack headlights, sorry, tail lights, I wanted to make a wheel that was inspired by that. And that's what this shape is. But because the GP3 has that four spoke element to it, we used a red highlight to try and transition that forward to this. Lastly, on this car, we do have a Super Sprint exhaust, which we just fitted before the show. We will make a video on that to show you what it sounds like. Um, I was going to go over to the F90 right now, but it's on TSF stand, it's in the main section and it's very busy and there's lots of loud music. So we'll have a quick run through that when we're loading the cars back onto the truck. So that's a wrap from Goodwood. The guys from CMG have just loaded the cars up again and they're going back to HQ. We drove down in the M5, we're going to go back in this now. I wanted to thank everyone who came over on the, over the weekend to say hello, come and look at the cars. It's really good to actually be out and see so many customers and friendly faces and actually be at a really good car show again. Players again smashed it. Their organization, the vibe they have at these meets is absolutely incredible. And it probably is my favorite UK show. Standard of Cars was absolutely amazing. And Paul Morrison's Mercio Lago was rightly the winner. When I saw that car, I said, that's gonna win and it did. And I think that's what most people thought. We're gonna jump back in the car now, head home and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on. If you want to join the conversation, please drop us a comment below and we will do our best to respond to you. And if you're running out of things to watch, why don't you watch one of these two?